Okay, uh, good morning. What wrong one? Well, I just, uh, earlier today, uh, just at the start of my stream, yeah, it's, all right, let me get, let me try to start this off right. At the start of my stream last night, um, I mentioned, uh, that, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing the Samurai all the way to 70. And, um, I also mentioned one of the reasons why, uh, I wasn't really playing my ninja is, one, the logistics. I mean, I've, I've said it in the stream last night, sorry to sound like a broken record, but he only shares gear with, uh, Bard and Machinist, which, wait, there are two classes I, would, I don't really care for. I'm not a ranged fighter, I'm more of a melee guy, so, if I'd be, uh, and as I'm sure everybody knows, I want to craft all of my gear every step of the way, all the way to 70. I want to craft everything. So if I am going to go through all that trouble, I would like it to be more worth my while, which is why, which is why I was uh, leveling my leveling my goonie and my tanks because they more or less share the same gear, share the same gear. Um, you, 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 you probably figure you probably figured it out. You'll you know what I mean. But, uh, reason, one of the reasons, one of the other reasons why I didn't care for my ninja is, uh, the ninjutsus. The ninjutsus are a real major pain in the butt to try to execute. Especially during combat when I'm trying to, okay, okay, ting, ting, uh, which way I was supposed to go for this? Uh, you know, messing them up and then casting the wrong thing and I'm, I'm, then I'm screwed for 20 seconds. Uh, so, I... I just went ahead and uh, made macros out of them. You know, they're they're twice as, they take twice as long to cast, but I'm much I'm much less likely to screw them up. So thinking about that on a whim, I just um I googled uh like Final Fantasy fourteen ninja macros, and some of them were talking about macroing their ninjutsu. It's like oh my god. <laughs> If they would have found that I was back on them, I probably would have been burned at the stake or <clears throat> probably been exiled on a faraway island or something. Or, you know, just, you know, Her burn the heretic, that kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, he's like, it's not like, not for like a trying, guys. I mean, you know, they probably don't like me macroing, you know, macroing my mudras, but then again, they probably wouldn't like it when, when they see me doing a fire AOE on single target or, they see me running around with a rabbit on my head, or, or if they're fighting a boss and they're wondering, hey, where's that, uh, where's that, uh, ten percent damage debuff that the ninja has? Come on, man, you know, not realizing that I actually tried to do it, but I ended up messing it up, you know, that kind of thing. So, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, but um, the one prevailing thing that a lot of the, a lot of the pe a lot of the Google people, I don't know why I call them that, but. Uh, on the forums, Reddit, uh, Lodestone, or whatnot, a lot of what they were saying is practice, practice, practice. Which, you know, I'm saying, oh, I'm fucking doing that, and I'm still messing them up, you know. So, <clears throat> going back to what I was thinking a while, long time ago, something that uh, I think it was a, uh, I think it was back when I was bowling, back in my 20s and 30s. I can't remember which decade. Um, somebody I was bowling with, or somebody in my league or whatever, actually had some awesome words of wisdom. It's not practice makes perfect, it's perfect practice that makes perfect. So, thinking about that, and since I really hadn't played my ninja in a while, um, I figured I'd, at, at the very least, give it the old college try. Maybe, maybe just sitting here trying to, trying and, or trial and error on a, on a practice dummy over and over again. Maybe, maybe it's just flat out not working. So, sorry for the long story, but I thought I'd just go ahead and go ahead and go on my ninja and uh, try working on them a little bit. Cause, uh, like I said before, uh, apparently the Final Fantasy Ninja Orthodoxy heavily frowns on uh, Mudra macro usage. You know, it probably also frown on me screwing them up too, especially in a, especially if I was to ever run raids or if I was running dungeons. You know, I, I said it before. They, you know, they probably see the bunny rabbit I had on my head. And, man, what the hell, man? This ninja sucks or whatever. So, 
This is what I had. Or better yet, this is what I was using. It's like I said. Um, Mudras are actually a, a half second cooldown, but the the wait time of one second is the minimum. So they take twice as long to get off. But again, they're way more accurate. They're not a hundred percent accurate. I probably want to mention that too. There's times uh. I'll try using one of these macros and he'll <laughs> chuck a star instead. So, so I have these, that. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure most other players are familiar with them. Uh, since there's no, there's no training dummy around here, I'll have to go to my FC house. I like it. I wish it would snow all year round here in Final Fantasy, because I cannot stand rain. You know, clothes are all soggy and it feels like I'm carrying a double load. I can handle the snow though. Doesn't bother me near as much. You know, the only other um. Uh, the only other training dummy I can think of would be over here, but I can't. I'm tired of using these ones because it's so cramped. There's like a wall in the way, and there's a roof of the house here. So I don't. I forget the name of the place, but it, it's west of uh, Camp Dragonhead. I'll just go over there. It's way more room to work with. And. I'll just go ahead and send my chocobo on its merry way. I ain't gonna need it here. Back while I'm here. A good old trusty sturdy sturdy flying chair. My flying chair that doesn't fly around these parts. White Brim, that's the name of it. <laughs> Hell, I should have just went on my chair and uh, just uh, auto ran it. But like I said before, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to work I'm gonna try to work on some kind of improvement over this. Again, this is a class that I have not played in a very long time. Just got it to 62. Got frustrated with either A, screwing up the, screwing up the ninjutsu in the traditional way, and uh, and then having to deal with uh, these taking twice as long. And even then, with it, even then, it's not 100% accurate. So, after uh, reading all that, reading all the advice, figured at least you know have another go at it. And I forgot to mention this early, but I, the reason I'm recording this is I really want to document it. I, is that the mic? Okay, yeah, the mic still works. Okay. Have me worried for a moment. So I'll just, I'll just go to these ones here. Way more room to work with. So, I'll chuck these.
I think there was a certain order I had these set up. My two most important ones, the the water one, and then the I guess the wind one, the one that gives you like 15% attack speed for like 60 seconds or something like that. I just got to remember where it was. Oh hell! <laughs> Boy, this has been nice to know back when I was playing this. Quite embarrassing. If only, I, if only I'd have scrolled down a little more, it would have already given me the order to do them in. Because usually I just scroll down here to where it's got the, the top three here. So I'll do that then. This is the big one. Jin G10. And um, I'm also well aware of uh, really the first two in the combo doesn't matter. It's the last one that counts. And I did factor that factor that in when I set when I set these up. Which means have to have that there. the big one. Sutan is the other big one. So Jin would Jin would have to be at this one. Basically, the way I try to set this up, the way I used to have it, excuse me, is it's got to go either 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Something simple like that. No, no, 3, 1, 2, or 2, 3, 1, or 1, 3, 2, or anything like that. It's got to go straight line. Um... Same with same thing with the uh, the other two. Wrong one. Oh yeah, and for what it's worth, he's a boost job. But I was playing this guy on a Palace of the Dead a lot, so I'm not completely ignorant of how this works. So most of what I know comes from the uh, Palace of the Dead runs. That's you know, the leveling system in there is totally independent from the one outside of it. the blue one. AOE would go from left to right. So it looks like both of them go from left to right. You have two, three, and then one, two. the water one. That is all three. 
And this is a this is another one of the reasons what that uh, shied me away from Ninja. Is I mean this is easy to let me get out of it. Cause uh, this one here is very hard to pull off actually during combat. Um the um the rear bonus if uh see I can do it I could easily do it here on a target dummy because the target dummy doesn't move but if you're in the middle of combat you know when I'm trying to be everywhere at once and if I got a, a tank and or the monster that won't sit still I could end up ruining this and that screws me over for another uh, 60 seconds Let me get a look at all what these other ones do. There's supposed to be another ability that you combo this with. I was using it back when I was actually playing it. No, that isn't it. Um, actually, I thought I had a macro for that. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't have that in there. The only reason thing. The only reason being is, uh, I couldn't get this to work for some reason. What do you think? Duality, that was it. Doubles the number of strikes for single target weapon skill. Has to be combined with that. So it's Alt-D, Alt-4. I think that's what I had in mind because they're both kind of the same general area, but uh, from my experience with playing Samurai, the best spot for that actually this is one of the reasons why I like my Samurai class so much. Mainly because uh, could have been on accident, but it was keybind, it was keybind almost perfectly. Alt A, Alt S. I'm kind of straying off the subject here, so the main focus is uh, trying to figure out an alternative for these. Okay, that one I don't want. That's the dreaded ice one. Thank you. 
I think I might have. I think I might have found an idea. Hopefully, I can make it work. Uh, slide that over there for right now. Um. Uh, I'll just go with hop bar nine, just because. go shoot four times three I'm gonna have to man if only I would have thought of this sooner Whoop. uh Hotan gauge that's gonna be a tough one right there I don't want the cross hop bar. Uh, Ninking gauge is what I'm looking for. There it is. It means that's got to go somewhere. Right now, I'm more. The Hutton gauge is more important to me because. Uh, I got to keep that buff up, the attack speed buff, so it has to be closer to over here. So, Nikki's going to have to go over there. Whoa, 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 wrong one. Pet hot bar. Man, I can't shrink that bar any smaller either. Okay, here's what I'm going to Okay. Jin G10. Oh no! I'll probably have. Okay. There's a workaround. There's a workaround. There we go. But I'm going to have to do that for a. Uh, for the other two, too. So the other important one. And which one is Jen? That one. I know the first two can be done in any combination, but I'm I'm trying to keep this as close as possible to what I currently have keyboard right now on F1 to F3. So, which means she's going to be in the middle. Uh, dot on. Last one is she. Oh, oh, let me make the macro first. And 
the dot on. Then what was dot on again? She's the last one. This is going to be the tough one. Because this one here, it doesn't go on a natural progressive order. I need some time to think on this one. Like I said, it's going to be very difficult for me to keep in mind. Also, I'm I'm considering I'm I'm also considering the fact that I'm also excuse me, I'm trying to find the right words. I'm considering combat too when I'm when I'm writing these down. So that's one of the reasons why I'm very big on it going one, two, three, or three, two, one. Because when I'm in combat, combat takes up most of my RAM space up here. Anything else beyond that is gonna be a it's gonna be a best guess. So So I'll just do this. Only because it's on only because it's in order. Left to right. Okay. Now up our ten. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be another problem. Because the difficulty in this one here is, uh... I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid getting all my bars cluttering up the center of the, the middle of the screen. And it's, it's starting to creep up like ivy right now. What I'm trying to do... I want to set this on a 2x2. Two but the problem I got with that is oh, cuz I'm only going to be using four of these spots. And uh, I don't I Guess I could do this anyway. And then move Mr. Hutan over here. Okay, this is what this this is what I was worried about right here. Um I think there's a way to go in the options. In the option section and get rid of any unused unused bar unused uh, slots of course I gotta go back there gotta knock it down to 60 There it is. It was that easy. Okay, that's just gonna be a placeholder right now. 
Nope. How far to is gonna have to be a three by something. Ten's the last one. Chi, Chi being this one, then we'll put Jin there, okay, <sighs> hope that helps. And another foreseen, unforeseen problem. Gotta get that little. Gotta, gotta get that little tiny ten off of that buff. I need to be able to see if it's on or not. Slide it over a tiny bit. Gotta keep them separate. Okay. That's right, I'm still in combat. Water. 
Got it. So far, that's helping. back up. Just gonna go ahead and put that duration. Armor break. Then it's... Uh... It's <laughs> like double fire right there. Isn't one okay? Okay, that's that's rear, and that's flank. Okay. this. Oh, 
Not what I wanted. Well, if two is the last one, I can't see why it wouldn't work. and mind it here. up. Get them all. Must be on the flank. into something more comfortable. Okay, I guess, well, so far, having this up really helps. The only problem I can see right now, I can see it immediately. Uh, I might have to delve further into it, but I don't, I don't think there is a way to make the uh, two extra hot bars here, ninja only, which means I'm basically going to be forced, if I was to ever take up the ninja class again, I'm going to have to go all the way with him. I'm not just not just to do a dungeon run or just play him for a day or something, because it's going to become a major pain in the butt to have to go on the HUD layout and turn them, up, turn them all off if I want to switch classes. So, but I guess going forward... Uh, I'm gonna take Ninja into consideration. Like I might actually start playing them more, and not just leave them on the, and not just leave them up in the closet. Now that I finally figured out an alternative to to trying to do the uh, ninjutsu stuff without having to use macros for it, like uh, everybody else says, an extremely bad idea. Well, it looks like I found an alternative. But but I'm just gonna go ahead and call it good. I uh, still gotta. Still gotta eat breakfast, gotta hop in the shower, gotta visit my mom and all that, so I'm out of here and 
if you uh, if you manage to stick with me all the way to the end, thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, take care.